To create a more complex motion path, you can use the motion tool to add extra anchor points. So in our animation here, we have our boomerang going from one side of the screen to the other. And we've used a path because we had our boomerang already rotating in place, and now we use the path just to move that. But to add a little bit of variance here, what I'm gonna do is select on my timeline about midpoint. And on my scene planning tools, I'm gonna select the motion tool. And I want to click this point here, and I'm going to push this straight up. And now if I play this animation, looks pretty good. But it is very, very stiff, and I want this to have more of a curved action. So I'm going to select this midpoint again, and click directly here. And I want to go to my properties. Let's scroll down. And what I want to change is what the tension is. So as I bring this down closer to zero, it's more of a curved action, and I can make it even more so curved if I bring it down to negative one. So if I click play, the path is now following a more curved action. Now the animation is still evenly spaced, which makes it look not as natural. So what I wanna do is go to my function editor and make sure this is velocity based. And what I wanna do next is set this at fast in and fast out. And what we have, if you look at our frames indicated here, we have that it's very fast at the beginning and it slows down toward the edge here as it's further back and then it speeds back up. So if we play this, now to finish our animation, I'm gonna simply go back to our timeline. Let's go to our midpoint and I wanna to go to my transform tool. And I'm gonna hold down my shift key and I'm going to make our boomerang smaller at its furthest point back. So now if we play the animation, and last but not least, since this is a boomerang, we'll probably want this to actually come back toward the beginning. So I can take this final keyframe here and move this more toward the beginning and maybe even alter the angle. So now if we play our animation, and if you think you're needing another point, you can simply go in on your timeline, select your motion tool again, and we can add another point. So using your motion tool is a really quick way to add a little bit of variance to your motion path.